Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0. Today is, oh, it's flying by so fast, I never know what, what day it is. Today is day 49 of our 66 Day Challenge, and it kind of wraps up our sites section. I'm going to teach you today how to actually add a new site to, or a new page, excuse me, to your KW Agent site. So we're gonna dive into sites here on the left-hand side, second to last icon. So we'll click on sites. And yesterday we were talking about um, hosting a home buyer seminar and we created a landing page to do that. I'm gonna show you kind of a different way that you might incorporate um, home buyer seminars or anything along that, a class that you teach regularly, uh, something where you were looking to get them to sign up to attend an event. And you could actually um, advertise that event on your agent site on a regular basis. So we're going to go into create a new site, which we've done here now the last couple of days. However, we're gonna select on my agent site instead. So I'm gonna click on my agent site and then create a page. So you can see it takes us into a similar editor than the one that we had yesterday. However, our widgets are slightly different. Just a heads up there. So the first thing we're gonna do, let's go ahead and name this page. So this is, um, let's just say, first time home buyer seminar, and let's put agent site so we know which one's which, okay? All right, so we have to get a little creative on this one. Um, the agent profile has a lot of blanks that we can kind of customize for this process, and so I think that's what we're gonna utilize. So we're gonna bring in the agent profile first, and then we need to bring in the contact form because we want them to sign up. So we'll drag that down to the bottom. And now we have two widgets entered. We have the agent profile entered and then we have the contact form entered. So let's go into configure widgets and let's click on agent profile. Now, I know it looks a little weird because this is all information about me, but I wanna turn this into information about the home buying seminars that we are going to be hosting. So first thing I'd wanna do is bring in my logo, right? So let's bring in the logo for my team and I'll bring this one in. Um, the page title says Marty Miller. Nope, that's not what we want. We want um, home buying seminars. Or let's put first time. First time home buyer seminars. Uh, role and company. So that's gonna be down here, listing agents. So uh, we could put presented by uh, Summit Property a Group with Keller Williams Platinum. The bio title, it says about Marty, so here's the bio title. That's not what we would put there. Um, let's say what you can expect to learn at a home buyer seminar with Summit Property Group, right? And agent bio, that's where um, must be at least 30 characters. It says 83. I'm not sure. Let's click on save and apply and see if that takes. And we know the top should take. So save and apply. Nope, still not going to take that. So let me take the dots out. Maybe it's those dots and click on save and apply. Did that do it? Must be at least 30 characters. I'm not sure why that error is coming up. So what you can expect and let's just see if that'll take so let's click on save and apply and that'll go in so it may just be a character count issue here um, oh we don't have anything in agent bio that's why it's not letting us save right now so agent bio is this part down here we would start describing the um, home buyer seminar so um, at this home buying seminar Participants will learn the ins and outs of purchasing a home from finding the perfect house, negotiating a great sales price, um, inspections, appraisals, whatever, right? You're just typing in whatever you title, work, and more. So you can go on and finish that out. Um, then you have contact Marty for the contact title. I might put something like, um, if you have questions, please. Let's not do all caps, it looks a little silly. 
If you have questions, please call or write. Ready to register? See below. Okay. So then it's going to have a phone number and my email. I can click on save and apply. And now you can see this page has turned from an agent profile into a page about first time home buyer seminar. So it's got the information there. My team uh, bio, or excuse me, logo, first time home buyer seminar presented by Summit Property Group at Keller Williams Platinum, what you can expect. I can put more information in here with the agent bio. Um, I don't know if it has, it, I don't even think it has a limit right now of characters. So I could certainly put in more information here. If you have questions, please call or write, ready to register, see below. Okay, so now we wanna to come to the second widget. This one says contact us, but that's not what we want them to do. So please register below for your seminar, All right? And then it says contact us body text. So we could even enter some additional body text here. Um, please let us know your name, email, and phone number so that we so that we can get you registered for our upcoming events, All right? And then the message placeholder is what goes here. So I could even put something along the lines of, um, please let us know which seminar you prefer, right? And then actually list out all of the ones that we're having. So Saturday, I don't know, I'm just gonna put some dates in here. There's not, probably not even Saturdays, but you get what I'm saying. Saturday, um, maybe I do one once a month, right? So February 18th, so on and so forth, right? So I could put in these, and then that way they can actually choose which one they wanna to go to, April 16th, and that should say 17th. All right, so then I've got my phone number, I can click on save and apply, and now this contact us form actually becomes a form that they would use to register, register, <laughs> register, excuse me. Please let us you know your name, email, phone number, please register, boom, boom, boom. And then they can actually put which seminar they prefer. All right, so now that we've gone through that, we're gonna come back in. Okay, so we've got the registration, we've got the top of the page kind of the way we want. And again, guys, there's so many different options that you can put in here. You can change this text to whatever you wanted it to be. All right, it is all text, so right now there's no ability, at least in this format, to enter um, you know, photos or videos. But if you're strictly just kind of looking for someone to have a basic page to get them some information and then to register, this is a good way to go about that. So I'm gonna click on Save Changes. It's gonna say, would you like to publish this as an agent site? I'm gonna say yes. Okay, so the page has been created. You can now see First Time Home Buyer Seminar Agent Site. This page has been created, but it hasn't yet been added to my actual site, my actual website. So the second step is to come to Agent Site Settings and then I'm gonna come over to pages and I want to come down to the bottom. On the left-hand side here, you're gonna see an option that says add page. So if I click on add page, then I can select page here on the left, bottom left, and I'm gonna scroll down and here's that first time home buyer seminar page that I created. So I'm gonna click on that and then click on continue. It's gonna ask me what I want the page title to be. So I can just put home buyer seminars. What I want the slug to be, so it could be martymiller.kw.com slash home buyer seminars, and then an SEO description. So whatever there, buying a new home, come learn all the info you need with regards to title, inspections, negotiations, repairs, uh, lender approval and more, right? So anything along those lines, okay? So I'm now gonna click on save changes and you're gonna see the name of the page changes down here. And now watch, this is kind of the cool part. When we actually go to my website, you should now see on the menu, in the menu, home buyer seminar. So this page just got added. So if you click on that, Boom, here it goes. It's going to take us into that page that we just created. And now people have the inf the ability to come in and actually register for that home buyer seminar. 
So that's the way that you can create additional custom pages on your agent site. You probably saw a few more that I have available here that I have added personally. Um, these actually have all been added based upon videos that I personally have watched from other amazing agents. So check out Jay Cermak, check out my um, regional tech trainer, buddy, partner in crime, if you will, John Morris. Check out, um, there are several other people out there. There are Kevin Jackson with uh, PS Associates, I believe is his site, his YouTube page. Several different other people that are doing very similar setups to this where they are creating their own page. Now, some of it will take a little bit of coding. That's okay, they're pretty straightforward. But if you just wanna create a very basic, but kind of straightforward, simple, easy to follow page, you can just utilize this video and do that. All right, guys. So that's it for uh, agent sites, landing pages, etc. Tomorrow we will actually going to have a. Um, I think we're going to have a wild card video. So um, I'll I'll just tease you with that. So come back tomorrow, check that out, and then we'll move on from there. As always, it's great speaking with you. Looking forward to working with the agents in Virginia. I'll be teaching um, command and Winwood sellers over the next couple of days. So looking forward to working with those agents, and then heading back home from there. Have a wonderful night, guys. Thanks so much.